So just really quick, I want to show you how to take the blades out. The blade retention screws are right here in the bottom of the emitters. And you want to back off on those set screws. And then out pops your blades. Now these are the factory blades that I'm sending back in your saber. And they just pop right out, just like that. Once you get the, the set screws loose enough. And then to get the main blade out, and I'm sending you this Allen key. But to get the main blade out, you loosen that set screw and the main blade pulls right out of there. It's a fairly tight fit. When you get the main blade out, you want to put the dust cap back on it like that. So once you get your, your blades out, you want to you know, semi tighten these set screws back in so they don't fall out. A lot of times these will, you know, vibrate out, vibrate loose, uh, so, you know. So it helps if you transport them with a blade plug. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to, number one, to, to pull your kill key. It's, it's a little tight. You might need, you know, needle nose pliers to get at it or tweezers. But there it is. And you need to take the kill key out to, you know, to disassemble your saber and take the battery out of it. But to, um, to take the battery out, you have to, once you remove the kill key, you have to take the pommel off. And then there's a set screw right here. And you want to back off on this set screw, which this set screw holds your chassis in and keeps your chassis from wiggling back and forth. And you loosen up that set screw and, and out pops your chassis. Once you're, of course, now it's going to ignite. Right? I'm going to put the kill key back in it right now. The um, the funny thing is, is it it'll ignite when the um, and when it's laying on the switch. Uh, but you have to have the kill key out to remove the chassis. To change out your battery, you want to slide off this, the T8 tubing, and then you just grab and pull on your little, your little strap right there, which I'm getting ready to, uh, to melt that, to fray that. I don't know what happened to my initial melt, but it's starting to fray. But that's how you take the battery out, and then you put the battery back in. To get the board out, and I use tweezers, you just give it a little a little push there, and it springs out. It's kind of a tight fit. But there's the board. And to get the board back in, you want the strips. What is this going to take for me to get the board in the slot? There we go. So now the board's in the slot. Once it's in the slot, you just push it in until it locks in. Just like that. And we'll pull the kill key and test it. There's been an awakening. Have you found it? Yes. Here golden. Turning it back off. I'm going to put the kill key back in just to kill the battery to it. When you're ready to put the the chassis back in the saber, just slide this protective T8 tubing back over your chassis. And then you want to carefully, you know, make sure you're not pinching the wires or anything in it. And by the way, when you're when you're putting this back in the chassis, you got to remove the kill key because it won't fit past there. And then you want to maneuver that. Yes. You want to maneuver that the recharge port so you can get to it. And I'm going to put the kill key back in. And once the kill key's back in, I'm going to put the pommel back on because the pommel actually holds that holds that uh, reveal piece in place in my you know my recharge port still centered between those two and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna tighten my set screw 
So you know all that's pretty complicated so you shouldn't be cracking this saber open unless you're at a con or something like that and you need to get it open. Uh, you know the best way to recharge your saber is through the recharge port and you know you pull out your your kill key like that and then you take your charger and this is your charger by the way that's coming along with your saber but you just plug your charger into the saber just like that and then you plug your charger into the wall the light will be red when it's charging and green once it's green charged. Saber fans got a Kylo Saber. This is an MR uh, Hasbro conversion. Uh, remove the kill key. She's right there, hidden in the pommel. You have two buttons to operate the saber. Uh, this top button is your main power ignition on and off. And the bottom button is your auxiliary button that gives you blaster blocks, uh, lockup, and also advances fonts. To ignite the saber, you press the main power button. Bada bing. Kill the saber, hold the main ignition button. When the saber's off, you can cycle through the fonts by pressing the auxiliary button. That's font two. That's font three. Start the music tracks. You press the main button. Six. This is Ray's theme, the next one should be Kylo Ren's theme. And it is. So, <clears throat> once Saber Tracks is going, you know, you can play the music. Uh, you're good to go. To advance the tracks, I was pressing the auxiliary button here. And when you press the auxiliary button, it, it you know, sends you to the next track. When you want to exit Saber Tracks, push and hold the main power button. So I'm just going to demo the Saber on font number one, which is Shamim's uh, Kylo Ren TFA. And you can watch, you get the delayed ignition on the Quillians. way brighter than it was. To get blaster blocks you press your auxiliary button to get lockup you press and hold auxiliary And then there we're out of lockup. So I'm going to retract the saber by pushing and holding the main button. I'm going to advance to the next one. That's the Dark Order by Nigon. And so this next one's kind of like a Vader font. Lock up, blast of locks. and retraction. So that's the saber for Taylor. 
and you know it came out awesome and you know it's just a, a standard conversion we went with uh, spark 2 r2 in this one uh, having some issues with uh, having some issues with NEC a little bit um, on the newer boards but at any rate um, I'm sure we'll we'll work it out uh, but the bottom line is is this saber is awesome it's ready to go out uh, may the force be with you Taylor down there in Charleston and thank you everybody for watching remember if you like my videos and you like my sabers like them like and subscribe good night